Hello, I want to do a real quick use case on an end-to-end -end integration test for logging into a web application and then also uh, doing a basic functionality in the app and then verifying that things happen. Um, and then these are really good for uh, preventing errors and bugs from going into production. Um, so real quick, I just want to run through the two tests that I have. So I'm going to hit this refresh button. This is using something called Cypress, which is going to actually uh, act as a robot inside of a Chrome browser or any browser and then click through things. So this first test just logged into the application and verified that something is there. And this other test is gonna log in and then in the app, there's an IoT platform, it's gonna create a device. So it's creating a device. It's gonna select a GPS tracker and then it's gonna type in a random ID. It's gonna type in a random name, as you can see. Now it's gonna hit finish. And then once it's finished, it's actually gonna verify data on that page. So we'll wait for this to load up. So you can see the page is coming through. And we're actually gonna verify that this device was created. Um, and how I'm, I'm gonna show you something real quick, like a regression. So this is, these are tests, this, these are tests, black box tests for regressions. So say I'm a developer and, um, so like a, a, a junior developer, someone's working in this and they actually are gonna break the app. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this header from the app. So that's gone. Now we have these tests that give the development team quick feedback. And now you check in these tests uh, and they run and we'll see what happens with this. So it's gonna pass the first login test because all that's doing is just making sure, hey, can we, does the login flow work? And then here's gonna be uh, the new device test. So it's gonna log in. It's gonna click the new device button. It's gonna run through that flow, select it. Again, it's gonna type in the ID. And these tests can be run on any type of application that you have, so whether it be web or mobile. And our team is definitely experts in uh, automated end-to-end -end testing. So we, we really want to help teams with this. Uh, so we just created the new device, but now this page is broken. So we're going to look, it's going to load. And now it's going to, when it asserts, it's not that that header is broken and we'll see it's going to fail. And over the left, you can see that it failed. You have a red assertion error. And this is the error it shows. It's timed out. Uh, never, it, it never found this element, the nav element. Uh, so then you have this failure. Uh, your developer could go, oh, hey, I broke this. And um, basically, it's going to help prevent regressions as, you, as your development team grows. Um, just real quick, real high level, I want to show you what these tests look like because they're actually pretty simple, especially when we get them set up with our um, architecture. So first thing is we have a describe login and all this is just standard English. It should log in. And then we're saying, hey, visit the login page. Then we're gonna say, get the email feed, email field. And then we're gonna type in the email and the password of the user and hit the login button. Um, and then we're just gonna verify that this is visible. Uh, same thing with the new device. You can see like everything is, all our methods are in like real English language. So even like a business analyst can see what's happening here. Uh, we're gonna visit the login page. We're gonna log in with the email, password, click on the button. Then we're gonna go to click get new device button, click that. Then we're gonna get the selected product. And we just basically line by line go through and assert things. Um, so if you're interested in this, this is a service that we're offering is this um, either automated end-to-end -end and regression testing. And then we also have some capability for manual um, regression and end-to-end -end testing. So kind of an interesting offering. Thanks.